Now we're going to get a half a teaspoon of yeast measured out. Just drop that right into the milk. So, we got two tablespoons of sugar. Egg, milk, sugar mixture in there. And I'm going to add 40 grams of melted butter. Now we're going to just whip all that, whip all that together. That mixed up real good. That's the butter, the milk, the sugar, and the yeast. Now what we're going to be using, we're going to be sifting in two, uh, two cups of bread flour. But we want to make the point of that I am going to be using bread flour. Okay, now we're going to get this bowl where we can do some work in here. But I don't want to overwork the dough. By the time we get done here, we should have a nice, nice ball. Some recipes don't call for you to work the dough too much, you know. It might stick. I, I got too much stuff on the side here. And I'm not going to add any more flour. I'm going to put a little olive oil in this other bowl. You can see the consistency of the dough. That, see how it still looks like it's sticky. And it is, a, it is sticky, but it's okay. I can tell that this dough is going to form beautifully. Alright, I'm going to put that in the oven. We're going to come back in two hours. And we're going to uh, check the rise on it. We're going to look at it. Oh yeah, look at that. That dough has doubled in size for sure. I'm going to use pretty much my my slicer because I just want to move it around a little bit. Now you can see even though it looked like it was sticky it's manageable. So I'm going to go ahead and push the gas out. Just push the gas out. I want it to rise again. And while I'm doing that I'm just going to kind of be forming it. But I'm looking at my chessboard, and this is one thing it comes in handy for. I can make one, two, three, four, five. That's going to give me six right there. I'm going to slice it on that line. That's one good thing about this chessboard, man. I love it. Now that roll is going to be put. Now I could I could put these in a regular uh, muffin pan, but I, I don't want to do that. I want to I want to have them rise up like dinner rolls, you know. Okay, so I'm going to put these aside, I'm going to put my rag back over, put these back in the oven where I have them. Well, I'm going to put them back in there for about 30 minutes, then I'm going to take them out and check them. And then I'm going to preheat my oven for 15 minutes and then I'll put them in. But we'll see what they look like in 15 minutes, we'll come back to the video then. Get the lights on so we can see this. There we go. Now you can see it. 